Well, that proved easier than expected. Um, decent sized fish. So, um, there's a lot to go over on this one. Uh, let's see. Start with where we were to cast. So, you can see where I've been catching other uniques. Um, let's come down here. That's the spawn point on the bridge, which is going across there. If I set a mark, you can see I've got my first unique asp, which I'm quite chuffed with. Um, and then the equipment I'm using is a Frio Walker on a half ounce, a half ounce weight a Frio Walker. Um, 17 pound line which will be why the 13 pound unique just came straight in um, on a 19 pound reel. Um, 19 pound reel is relevant mainly because uh, that recovery 49 inches so this is an exceedingly quick reel. Um, I actually bought it for trout fishing where the, the extra recovery really helps and on a, a rod that can take a 19 pound reel. Um, as I said it's that spawn point, which is where the, the bridge is, and I actually started today at noon. Um, I thought I'd get in just ahead of the peak, and actually this, this period, while it's still ramping up towards peak, does seem to be quite good for uniques. And then the technique is pretty straightforward. You cast out, and... I actually turned the television off just after casting out, which is why there's a gap between casting out and doing anything. Then to speed one retrieve, and it's a twitching motion which with the top water learn gives you a walking motion. And then the thing you have to do with the asp is watch your lure. Because you'll see a disturbance in the water, and when you do, you'll see that I actually stopped reeling in. I gave the fish time to bite, and then I struck. Ooh, just about had something there. Um, if you just keep reeling in, you'll actually pull the lure away from the fish and then you won't get anything at all. So, it's a trickier retrieve, one that you need to pay more attention to, that I think, than most. No useful hints um, with the information on the right. I think